now we're going to have a look at how to process some images um, and make the results available for subsequent downstream processing through the ccp 4 i2 interface. Um, we've got iMozFilm available for that at first. Um, it's available in the task menu and uh, data processing. Here we've got launch iMozFilm and capture the output. So I'm just going to click here to run that. It's going to fire up X Windows and then it's going to fire up iMozFilm and here it is. Um, how to run iMozFilm is very well documented. You can search on the web to find out more about this. I'll just run very quickly through uh, an auto indexing and processing so that we've got some output to have a look at downstream. If I was processing this carefully now, I'd do things with the beam stop and that sort of thing, but instead I'm just going to dash through this, ask it to do some auto-indexing. It will automatically determine the mosaicity. And rather than refine the cell, I'm just going to dive straight in to an integration. Now, one of the nice things about MozFilm, of course, is this um, lovely report that it gives you image by image report on the quality uh, of the processing, but also on the uh, parameters uh, of the diffraction experiment as they refine throughout and that gives you a good indication of how your experiment has run. I just gave it 20 frames that time and it's finished. So here's the first um, thing that I have to do to, to get this into ccp 4 i 2 What I'm going to do is save the session and I'm just going to give it a name. It's important that that name ends with the file extension .mos or .sav so it can be anything .moz or .sav. And then we exit the session. And what you will see happen is that that session has been captured into ccp 4 i 2 We can see a fair reproduction of the report, the frame-by-frame -frame, um, analysis of the uh, central uh, spot. And here some uh, compiled profiles in the single block of images uh, that was integrated and processed. This interface lets you have a look at um, all sorts of things. Here we've got an analysis of the uh, uh, integrated intensities as a function of resolution. Um, and you can uh, click your way through this and see how your processing went, turning lines on and off, very much as you can in the iMOS film interface. What this has captured into the database for us is two things. First of all, it's captured the MTZ file that came out of that. That's something that you can put straight into fills data reduction pipeline. It's also captured a save file which will allow you to run another session of iMozFilm starting off from pretty much where you began. So that is iMozFilm in the CCP4 i2 interface.